for vlogging today. Um, okay. Do I have a busy day today? Kind of, not really. Um, but I keep sleeping in and it's annoying me. So I tried to get up earlier. Anyway, this is not interesting. I'm gonna take you through the day, um, but I have to make the bed first. I got this duvet cover from Zara Home, which I never thought of doing. And it's the freaking best. Look how cute our bedroom's looking. I just need to like do some little thingies there and I've got a big piece of art coming and then I have our new light coming this week and it's just gonna be like so stinking cute. I don't even know what to say. We're also having the um, TV installed today, which would be great. I need to get like a frame. because This is the Samsung frame TV, but we need to get a frame for it because I don't know if you guys have looked at how much frames cost for the frame TV. They're like four to six hundred dollars. Then it was time for breakfast. I've eaten the same thing for like 10 years. So if you're ADHD, pause up ladies. Um, Michael got me these flowers last week because I was feeling insecure about my acne. So we love him. Uh, and then I had some meetings and that was the morning. Okay, that was it. That was the morning. Pancake just fell asleep in Michael's shoe. Um, what, buddy? I never shower this late, um, but I was just in like a, a buzz, so. We're gonna shower now. Out of the shower, do we like my robe? I love it. I have kind of a funny activity we're doing next. So my brother is getting married in two months and I am a bridesmaid. And the bride is letting us pick all our dresses, thank God. But they all have to be blue. Clarins is the best stuff ever, okay? The issue is that I'm tall and I don't mean to come off like, oh, I'm so small, but I'm a bony individual. And all bridesmaid dresses are slip dresses. I have, oh my God, every single one is a slip dress. I do not like my body in a slip dress. I just don't like being bony. And when you put on a slip dress that has really light fabric, it's like every bump ever. So this has been a journey trying to find a bridesmaid dress that's light blue that isn't a slip dress. And it also needs to be full length and I'm six feet tall. Um, it's been a struggle. <laughs> But last night I was like, wait a second, why don't I go to a prom dress store? And before anyone freaks out being like, oh my God, you're gonna outshine the bride. No, I just know prom dresses are generally pretty heavy and they also have formal like evening wear. So I'm just praying that I can get a, maybe literally a slip dress that just has a really heavy fabric and some structure to it. I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to film in there, hopefully. Here's the fit, I have my Amazon jewelry on. I got this tank top Maritzia forever ago and it is the best. <laughs> Bro, I have done that so many times. The pants are top shop. The bump on my head is courtesy of that. Let's go try on some dresses. If you're looking for Sambas and you don't know what pair to get, get these ones. Anyway, here's the store. Here's all the dresses. It was a lot, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do side by side reviews, okay? This was the first dress. I just wanted to try it on because it was pretty. It's so not appropriate for a bridesmaid dress. It was giving Eli or Ellie Saab or whatever. She was stunning, but like it, if it was white, it was a wedding dress, okay? I get it. I just, it was pretty. I felt pretty. I didn't mind this one. Um, It's just not very me per se, but I did feel like a princess. I I think if it was cut a little bit more straight, it could have been a contender, but it was just too like princessy for me. And the slit was really high. This one made me so sad because it was so pretty, but the fabric underneath the lace was like all glitter in sequins. So it looked really pretty and simple, but like if I was in any light, it just would have been pure like sparkle, which if it was like editorial sparkle, I think that would be fine. But it was like prom sparkle. I mean, it was a Sherry Hill dress. So that kind of makes sense, but it just was not. It was really disappointing because I really loved it. It looks like this one Michael Kors dress I'm obsessed with. Heartbreaking. This dress was fucking terrible and it was $800. Blech. I loved the idea of this dress, but it was just, a, again, it was too much. The only blue dresses they had in the store, I was just looking for like really simple ones that had a heavy fabric and all they had were like totally over the top, sequin, beaded, everything. So they just all were nose. But I think if this one had been like a chiffon or like some sort of like, not chiffon, if it had been like a really fine, like sheer silk almost to it, where it just kind of flowed, I think it would have been, this would have been the dress. Um, but because it was such a heavy satiny fabric, it just, it was too much. But the beading on it was so beautiful. I really liked this one. It's just, each one was like so good in their own right. And you can see here, if it didn't have the prom dress vibe to it, which I did go to a prom dress store, so that does make sense. So let's just like, I was trying so, it was a last resort and none of them worked. So we're back to the drawing board, ladies. Yay. Okay, now we're gonna go work out. I'm gonna find out if any of my workout stuff is clean. My favorite brown set is clean. Okay, here's the fit. It's from Aritzia. Um, Aritzia makes the best workout clothes. 
ever. This sweater is H&M. I'm going to a step class um, that my best friend's mom is teaching. And if you've never taken a step class, it is way too much fun. It's basically just like dancing, but you like, I don't know. It's just really fun. <laughs> okay, this was like a real step class. Brenda killed it, but it was so cute because all the older women knew all the moves and all of us youngins were just so lost. But look at me, I'm having, I'm having a hoot. Step is so much fun. <laughs> I recommend if you're someone who wants to work out, if you're a dancer, actually, I'm not a dancer, so I found it like very difficult. But if you are a retired dancer, current dancer, whatever, and you want like a fun workout that isn't gonna like kill your body, step, absolutely step. That was really good. I'm always in this robe, but it's a different day. <laughs> I finally have a free day in quotations. It's snowing outside. It's actually really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. I know some people, well, everyone hates snow in April, but when it does snow in April, it's so fluffy and gorgeous that I just, oh, I could watch it all day. It is absolutely gorgeous. Arguably Calgary is one of the best cities in the entire world. And I know people are gonna try to disagree with that, but our snowiest days are the most beautiful. Our coldest days are the most beautiful because it is, so either sunny or like mystical. So today's a mystical day. You can't look out at this weather and feel bad because it just looks like you're in a snow globe in like a Disney movie. Anyway, the window's right there. That's why I'm looking around. Um, but today I'm working on some spring inspo fashion stuff, ironically. And then I need to go to Simon's because I'm still on a hunt for a mirror, but I'm gonna go do that tomorrow. That's a Friday job. Um, but today I'm gonna go to Simon. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought because I want to elevate the pillows on our couch right now. The living room's just off to me, if that makes sense. It just doesn't look right. So I'm gonna go to Simon's, grab a bunch of pillows because they have good sales on pillows and give it a little zhush, a little refresh on life. And then I need art so badly, so badly. And I'm going to a Taylor Swift theme spin ride tonight, um, which will be so much fun. So tens up. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, buddy. Did you finally get up? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's like 10 in the morning. You just woke up. It's 10 in the morning, pal. Okay, we just worked all day today, but I just got our art in for above our bed and I'm actually gonna lose my mind. Ready? Look at it. I'm speechless. This is like, this is stunning. I'll tell you the artist below. Um, okay, pause. I don't really realize what I did, but I always go on Etsy to find art because a lot of artists will sell like their art pieces in a digital print for like $5. Then they just don't care what you do with it. And I thought that's what this was. And normally I'm really good for this for like making sure it's not someone like ripping off someone's art, but I bought it from someone who like altered the art a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I can tell it's a dupe of this like very famous artist's art. I'm like very confused right now and I went on the Etsy shop and I can't find the listing anymore. And I don't want to share the Etsy shop because obviously it was scamming the art. Anyway, this is the artist who did it, um, I think. And this is who we should be supporting. I went online and found some of her stuff listed. So I bought some stuff just to like, you know, readjust the karma levels, but yeah, super weird. It looks so good, look at it. <gasps> okay, now imagine we're gonna change the little knobs there to black and then just get some like warmer toned like nightstand decor just so it all kind of flows together. I also, the pillow sitch. I love this, I love these. These guys are killing me. They're killing me, so we'll work on that later. That's a later problem. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for this week. I hope you guys like this. It's kind of new for me to do, but it was fun, so. That's it. I Just kidding, guys. The vlog is not over yet. I found my mirror. I found my absolutely perfect mirror and I got really hyper fixated on it and was determined to bring it home. So this is my journey of getting this mirror home by myself as a girl. It was 200 pounds, okay? <laughs> okay, I found the mirror. I found the perfect mirror. It's big. I need to get it home today. I really want to do it right now. I'm hyper fixated. I just went to Canadian Tire. And if you don't know what Canadian Tire is, it is a dollar store on steroids, essentially. I got all the jumper cables. I got my truck bed figured out. Jumper cables, bungee cords, that's what it is. I got my tarp. I told them to wrap the mirror. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if the girl can girl today. As any girl would, I had an old shag rug in the back of my truck. <laughs> I've got the mirror in the back of the truck. Um, the guy said if I hit one bump, it might crack. So let's just pray to God, okay? All right, let's do this. We just got home. I'm parking. The mirror is splashed a bunch because it's gross out, but I have no idea if it's cracked. Everyone pray to God. I think we're good. I think we're good. <clears throat> okay, I got it out of the truck. Now it's here and I need to get it up there. It didn't crack though, which is good. For the next 45 minutes, I pulled this mirror up the stairs. It was bad, okay? It's so good.
Okay, are we ready? My arms are shaking. I, I, I couldn't even film that. That was just, that was dangerous. Like either seven years of bad luck or girl dies from mirror. So, okay, ready? Look at her. Is she not? Oh, I have no words. Like this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted dark, but I didn't want it too wavy to be like the typical wavy mirror. But this is like the perfect in-between of the classic wavy mirror and like the anthro mirror, right? I'm $300 too, by the way, 300, that is all. I like, I like don't know what to say. <gasps> We're gonna catch all my, my OOTDs are gonna be right here. Okay, that's actually it. We're done. That's the vlog. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it and I'll try to post more of these. Okay, bye.